What's going on everyone? Welcome to episode two of Financial Fitness. I'm your host, Jared Myers, brought to you by the Old Fashioned Health Network, Good Health Inside and Out. As we all know, it's Black History Month. Excited to be able to talk about this topic we have here today. Guys, just painting a picture for the culture, honestly. As we all know, I have a background in finance and banking, and I couldn't think about any other topic that I wanted to talk about more than this one today. William Washington Brown. Mr. Brown, we may ask, who is he? He's the founder of the first black-owned bank in the United States. Now, Mr. Brown was a former slave owner in Georgia, moved to Richmond, Virginia, where he founded Grand Found United Order of True Reformers in Richmond, Virginia in 1888. On their opening day, they had $1,269 in opening deposits. Now, we can all count a little bit and go back and count inflation. That's a pretty substantial number on opening day. Now, one of the things that I saw and I preach continuously on positivity, positivity and financial growth, just because where we start, as Mr. Brown started as a slave, doesn't mean we're going to end up there as he ended up opening the bank in the future. Guys, always continue to pay it forward and look to where you want to go in the destination. Moving back to Mr. Brown, in 1893, the America had an economic depression. Through this difficult time, the bank was able to survive and able to pay the full value out to the customers and clientele that they had, rather than just penny pinching, giving half, and failing like a lot of other banks did in 1893. This was very impressive to me once I was able to discover this because it told me more about our culture and how we handled money properly. We, there was no misguided leads as we continue to see now. We finance, we were able to build, we were able to grow. After Mr. Brown's death, this bank was able to go into real estate, it was able to go into newspapers, it was able to go into other lines and trades of business. And growth happens when you put your mind together and you work harder and deeper for the greater cause. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode of Financial Fitness. Happy Black History Month, and may we continue to march on and move forward.